Good morning, all. Good morning, everyone. Hello. How are you all? I hope you're doing very, very well. Um, Welcome to live. Yeah, lots of chatter early on here. Absolutely. It's good. I've been kind of keeping up to date the last couple of minutes with, uh, with everything. Um, Paul was looking at the membership, Paul. I, I know a couple of people have said to you, best route is through your a laptop or through your PC, hmm. your Mac, whatever it may be. Much easier. Is it doable on the phone or does it have to be? It, it is doable. So I'll level with everybody. There's some silly bugs and they're not our fault. No. <laughs> YouTube, I don't know why, on your phone, the join button that a lot of you probably mm. can see, and here's a prime example, it's there. You can see it. Yeah. Join button is right under the thumbs up and, and uh, thing always on a video. For some reason on a phone, it sometimes isn't. So you physically can't always join on your phone, although if you go to the channel homepage. And also if you want to join our Discord server, which is literally just like a member's form, mm. um, that needs to be done through your laptop or desktop, anything but a phone as well. So if you have any issues, you can always email us. We'll help you out. Good, 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 good. Um, guys, we're going to uh, we're gonna do a couple of uh, call-ins today, a couple sure. of links. I've already sent one out, so sure. um, if you guys want to get in on it, you go for it. I've uh, got the link in there already. We have that going. I'm also... Show us the... Um, yeah, we had a lot of deliveries yesterday. A lot of deliveries. Ever. You guys would have noticed that Callaway Apex irons came out yesterday. It's not that we didn't have them, and Callaway, thank you for getting us them. Um, it just was like emergency pain <clears> week, so we only had so much time. But we will be filming with the Apexes, um, I guess, today. Mm -hmm. We will be for sure. Um, here, what do you got over there? You got your little, whoop, you got your little combo set, don't you? So, feel it like yeah, show, show us, show us one at a time here. So we have the. <laughs> That's you guys have probably work. seen the picture it's of on Facebook. the new one. I'll show you later. I'll show you later. This is just the new standard Apex Twenty One irons, right? Yeah. Apex Pros, um, which is a handsome devil. Really good looking shape. Yeah. Um, shape. We don't have the DCB yet, the deep cavity back version, the slightly oversized Apex. We don't have that one yet. I would like to get um, one of those maybe in like a, th maybe they don't make a three, but certainly like in a four and a five iron would be cool because mm -hmm. then we can talk about how those combo set. It might Definitely. be a, it might be a combo set that the right-handed version of myself may enjoy. I have to admit I'm I was sore uh, on Tuesday. The opposite side of the body stuff? Yeah, I was sore in, in places that I didn't expect, though. It mm. wasn't quite what you thought. It was actually more in the legs. I was going to say your butt, probably. Yeah, and, and like quads it, and stuff. Honestly, yeah, and the, like the, the yeah. upper legs were well, quite you, sore. You're trying to, you're trying to you know, use you know, explosive power on, on the, oh, the complete opposite side of your body. And, and so you, your pushes and, and your rotaries and your stabilizers yeah. are all the complete opposite from yeah. what, what they would normally be. So I think I've healed up though, if we, if we end up doing that again. But yeah, something like that would be a great combo set. A DCB would be the long irons and then maybe the standard apex and the short irons. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those are coming guys. It's uh, just a busy week. There's a lot going on. Busy, busy week. Yeah. Through the door, we, uh, ah. we just had some Arrivals of the uh, Arcos Link. Caddy Link. So we, nice. we have 30 of those. Um, I actually think with 25, the first five literally went yesterday uh, as they came in the door. So there's 25 of those left. Nice. Anyone interested in Arcos Caddy Link? It really is, to be honest, the, the, the bit that has been missing, the oh, missing link. The experience um, between having that, how much does that cost? I don't remember. I want to say they're, they're kind of around 199. Whatever it is, um, if you invested in Arcos, I can tell you it makes your experience a, a lot better, especially putting, like better. marking the pin quickly just by pressing yeah. it. Now, I'll say you still have to think about the fact that you're using it, but the difference between having it and not, significant, very significant. A lot less missed shots, and it's just an easier easier time. So yeah. we'll get those up on the, uh, they are up on the, oh no, the sensors are up on the store. So we'll get be, the link up on, on the store. Yeah. Um, Really nice little cool uh, update to the, the Stability Tour came in um, in the last couple of days. So this is the new blackout version of the Stability Tour. Um, comes, it's it's kind of like a little tour issue label and stuff like that it's got in there. We'll maybe take some sexy little snaps gonna, and post I'm them. I'm just going to quickly put a second camera so you can put some of this stuff okay. on the table. Because be cool. I'm literally right here. Yeah. I've got it plugged in. Okay, my man. So, um, so again, anyone interested in, in uh, obviously upgrading their, their putter, those literally just came in the door and they won't last long at all. They they'll will be, be they'll be flying out the door. They will be gonzo. Yeah, they come with a really cool little uh, 
Barney. a little handwritten note as well, a little card from Barney Adams, the, the guy who oh, invented cool. it. It's got the specs it's on it. It's got all the stuff. specs and what you know, what the weight is, torque, one degree, length. Is there any difference in the performance and construction of this new one or is it a cosmetic thing? I think it's a cosmetic thing versus the, the tour that I play. Cool. Yeah. I think that was most people's main complaint. They wanted to try it. It looks a little weird. Don't necessarily, I, I even said it. My critical moment of it was, I have the standard one. Yeah. And my only criticism is that people ask you about it every round, which is fine. But if you putt like crap a lot of the time, like I do, and mm -hmm. you have this $200 putter shaft and everyone's asking you how it does, not a great experience. Because then you, you just go, things, uh, well, things were like that though. Every, it, I know, know they're when, always like that. When people started changing shafts, that's the way it was. Like, oh, you've changed the shaft and, and your driver and you've just hit one in the woods. Like, I know. people will always do that. People will always It was do the that. white belt. You know, why, why? Remember <laughs> if you rocked up to the first team with a white belt and you, you slung one out of bounds? Just like, you'd be as well walking back to the car. No. Starting again. The thing with that stability putter shaft is to say what you want about it. There's no way that it isn't a good decision as long as it's in the budget because mm. it obviously helps. It's just a question of really how much and how noticeable. Um, so let's let people take a look at this. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's really nice. Sidetracked here. Well, uh, well worth that. A close up for sure. Are you ready for your close up, Barney Adams? Linky, linky, do. And bye, folks. You please. Guys, I'm curious about this. Ian, Ian Connell has said there the white hot OG putters look horribly. Just got them in the shop. I would love to know what people think of those. Do, do you guys like? Is that of interest to you guys as, as a as a consumer group that a company continues to relaunch a product like like the white hot range? like they did with Big Bertha many, many times. Sure. It's kind of brought that one back. Like TaylorMade did with Burner many, many times. They kept bringing that back. I'm sure it's been long enough. We'll probably see it again sometime soon. Like, do you guys like that sort of stuff or do you prefer kind of fresh, fresh innovation and fresh sort of looks? To be honest, like for me, bringing back White Hot doesn't seem like progress. Uh, it just seems like we weren't sure what to do this year. We went, we went with this. Now, I don't know how you guys feel. I will show everyone if you don't know what we're talking about. It's the latest Odyssey putter here. It's got a red stroke lab shaft and the, or, uh, literally the original white hot insert. Yeah. Um, yep. So let me show you guys here. Like, I mean, it, it looks like the very first version, other than the fact the insert's smaller. Um, oh, is it smaller? Yeah, what, it, used to, it used to be the full, the full kind of uh, size of the, oh, okay. the face, but the, the insert's smaller now. Like, I don't know. Um, oh, that didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, guys. If that's if that's what people want. I think one more question. I'm almost ready. I'm just gonna plug this in. Uh, that helps. Let's see. Usually. Let's see. Close up. How are we looking? Still good there. How are we looking? There's a white hot OG. Okay. Joe saying no more white hot. Need innovation. I agree with you, Joe. So there's the face of the new white hot OG. There's the rear. Lou's saying 20 year anniversary release. I'm pretty sure that's the reason. I don't know if that's a good thing, Lou. Strictly the fact that it's a... Yeah, like maybe if you do like a limited run of them just to kind of, you know, uh, but I don't think that should be your, your offering for the year. That's basically going, no, we're going to do the same as we did 20 years ago. It's a clip show. That's is what it is. Yeah. It's when a show doesn't have an episode filmed and you make a clip show. Yeah. It'd be like right now if you and I didn't feel like showing up and you saw the best of TXG from literally not that long. Yeah. Anyway, it's here. If you had good memories of Stroke Lab, like, or sorry, Stroke Lab. If you had good memories of White Hot, um, I'll show people the Stroke Lab, or um, Stability Lab, whatever you want to call it. Speaking of labs, there's the Stability Tour yep, there, stability guys. Stability Tour. It's handsome. Really good, isn't it's very it? Very subtle, so what Holograms it looks like on camera on. is about as legible as that is, so it's very, very still. Yeah. Is it thinner than the original? It looks a than bit the original, yes, thinner in diameter. Quite, quite a lot. I noticed quite a difference actually going from uh, from the, the the regular one that you play to the tour. The tour is a little softer, nice, um, and it feels a little bit better. So I, I really should just swap that into yeah. whatever putter I end up mm -hmm. using. Yeah, I like the other one, but it definitely it felt uh, very kind of substantial, very substantial. Anything else you want me to show on camera? What else do we have? You see these irons, um, people? Yeah, let's get some little close and close. If you haven't, and we may as well show that shaft. May as well. There are the Apexes. Handsome. You passed me that Apex Pro because those are the Apex ones that Pro. everyone's going to drool over. It's a little Pro Skate. Slide. Yeah, they are handsome. 
I think you called it at address. The Apex Pro is probably not exactly what people would expect. It's a bit bigger and sort of has more offset than maybe a super traditional blade might prefer. I think you want <coughs> Apex, or sorry. Um, oh boy. What is the other blade called with a little screw in the back? The uh, X Forged CB, the one we just got. Yeah, what's the blade one though? Remember, there's a blade. The full set we have. I know, I'm blanking. MBs, just the. Uh, is it literally just, just called the MBs. MB? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, those are a more traditional iron. Mm -hmm. These these are nice, mm -hmm. but if you are looking for something super super like player's bladey, that's mm -hmm. probably not quite what you want. It's more of a JPX nine two one looking thing, if you ask me. Had a little more offset than I was I was hoping for with it. Um, That's very fair. Yeah. Um, so we'll get that. Um, and most other stuff we've just got through the door we can't show you. Um, mm -hmm. Thanks to the guys at uh, Edison Wedges. They've just sent us some um, yeah, where are those? some wedges. I think they're around the corner. No, they're here. They're here. Let's show people those. Thank you, Edison. Grab me one and you hold the rest. Well, 51, 55, 59 combo. And these are spec. Like I believe. I believe these are spec for you. No, I think they are. Yeah, some KB tours and some plus fours and. It's a good looking set. Yeah. Pardon me. While I take the plastic off. That's a so yeah, that was, it's a good nice shape. We'll have a lot of obviously um, mainstream stuff to test in the next few weeks, but we can sprinkle these. Are these direct to consumer? I guess Edison would be. Um, Do they sell through a club. I do you know, oh, I'm, I'm not, not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I thought they were direct to consumer. Okay, here not is the Edison. Sure. There it is, very clean. How's that look, bud? Can you see that okay? Yeah, I can see that nicely, bud. So a kind of narrow sole. Yeah. Very, very kind of They've actually handsome. got a sneaky little grind on the sole. I, I actually hadn't noticed that. There's a little V, a little V sole. Oh, is there see ever? It? Yeah, I'll see if I can make that visible. Just bear with me. Yeah, you can see. <laughs> Juan said, look at my wedges, point the way, guys. Uh, Juan, we'll have lots of testing coming up on that stuff soon, buddy. We'll, we'll be making our 2021 recommendation list um, for you guys over the next kind of probably month or so. Thanks, buddy boy. Uh, Matt is asking if we have... Um, if we have a stability tour putter shafts to try during fits, we do. We absolutely do. I mean, the thing is, all the boys, I think pretty much all of our team use them. So even if, if somebody has bought the ones that had it on the, uh, on the, the display, mm. we'll all just go grab our, our own putters and you can, you can try it in ours, what have you. Mm. Jason, I know you've asked this a few times. Aerotech steel fiber Same. shafts, we have them on the way for you. Uh, 125Xs are, are on the way. Um, and some a testing? Few, yeah, a few others. A few others. So They're um, already on the wall, Jason, if you were wondering. Under 100 grams, right? Yeah, we carry the 18, the 95. We are expanding that range into the player series, which is the black label. Um, and they're also gonna, we're going to add in the 70 and the 110s. And uh, we'll probably add some 125s. It was just, if, they're, if they're good, obviously. Well, right? I yeah. mean, the, the test that we just done in Graphite versus Steel with MMT, mm. it showed people that the difference between that LZ and that MMT was the same head. It, it was, was it was damning. non-existent. I mean, it was literally the was same performance. Yeah. There's just different feels and there's different preferences around that. And are they fairly reasonable in price? Steel fibers. Yeah. Affordable. Yeah, pretty Good. affordable. Yeah. For your dampening needs. Crazy. For your. The one thing that's rebels. interesting with that with steel fiber is they are the one shaft that, regardless of what OEM carries them, mm -hmm. they're basically the same price with us as they are with the OEMs. That's very rare. Is it usually cheaper? Normally, the cheaper the OEMs, just because of volume. You know, of they're buying hundreds of thousands oh, of units. So the pricing is consistent. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's really that you guys are getting a better deal, I guess. Than exactly. Um, guys, one last thing. Uh, 1014, I just sent you a link. Um, this emergency on, on, alert? Or? No. <laughs> the, uh, Tell him you to stay home. <laughs> <That's fine. laughs> Oh, we're not listening to you. We're here, we're working. Ian, Ian sent me an emergency <laughs> alert to stay home. Sent you an email with a link. Uh, okay. we, are, we are launching um, probably, probably early next week. Um, our really first attempt at the official TXG newsletter. It will have contributions from all of our team. It will have updates as to what all the guys are up to, what we're up to, what we're testing. Everything that's going on, you'll get a chance to kind of meet the people behind TXG. So that one launches next week. 
Um, so see if we can share. I'll post. That'd be awesome. It's coming. So we'll share it a few times throughout the, the live, but um, just, just head on over there and, and share your email with it and you will automatically get updated. Stand by for 10 seconds and I will give that to you. Yeah, that would be, it's something we, we have, but it's never really been official, so yeah. definitely get on there, guys. I think it's like we don't have the ability to communicate with you super directly except for here in Instagram, so um, it will be good. It will be good, yeah, definitely. And, and I'm, I'm dying promise for not you. to spam you. <laughs> no, we, we definitely won't. And if we do we do your thing and, and you know, yeah, you can always eject us. Know. But no, you, you'll enjoy it. You'll enjoy getting to meet the other, uh, the other people, you know, in the company, you'll get, you know, the fitters, the other builders, you know, the inventory team, what they do on a daily basis. I mean, mm. so it's all part of the story as to, to who TXG are. We're, we're, we're far from, from, you know, just the guys that sell clubs and, you know, our YouTube channel. There's, there's a lot of people in the back end that, that make it all tick. So it'd be good for you guys to kind of get to meet them and all that sort of stuff. I've just included the link. It is right there. It's just Beautiful. a shortened, you, um, it's just literally you go if you want, guys, if you want to join the newsletter, just put your name and email in there. Beauty. And you're good to go. You can even uh, put in a fake name if you want. Just don't put in a fake email. Speaking of uh, putting your name in, I am going to get us an interview guest. Love it. Because we should be ready. I had it all prepared ahead of time. Love it, love it. And sure, we have a name ready to go. <laughs> the number of my friends that are watching that Tiger documentary and texting me going, is, is this true? Is this true? Like, I'm not going to watch it. Oh, I'm not watching yeah, it. Yeah. I can't the, the, the reason I'm not watching it is not for what people are going to say. It's not like, oh, you're just a Tiger fan, you want to watch it. We know all the stuff that's in there. It's just, it's repetitive. Like, if, it was, if there was new stuff, I'd be happy to watch it. If it was anything remotely like The Last Dance, where it was... A balance, at least. Yeah, or, uh, you know, reliving, reliving, you know, the story behind the glory. Yes. That's not the story behind the glory. That That's was, that was worst so far. Well, why regurgitate that? So we all know what happened. I think that's the issue. No I, one feels good about it. No, I no have the issue with that it. only that, yes, it, it, there's already been documentaries and books and stuff. It just seems a little repetitive, but it yeah. is what it is. I think there's a lot of people who don't know the story that are watching it, but... I have absolutely zero interest in it. I'm not going to be watching it either. Okay, txg.ca slash live. Yeah, I, w I, I wish it was something like, it's a good point you made. The Last Dance to me is something that people watched a lot, even though they weren't huge basketball fans. Yeah. And it made them appreciate the sport more and it made them appreciate, obviously, one of the legends and many of the legends. I had a better appreciation for like Scottie Pippen and these guys also. For sure. I would have loved, and, and I'm not gonna say HBO will never do this, but like make a golf documentary like that, that mm -hmm. portrays, sure, Tiger did some stupid shit, let's be honest, but don't, for the non-golf viewer, yeah. put something on there that, if anything, people are going to watch that and go, oh, let's see what these golfers do, see what these golfers are like. It's like, that doesn't help the sport at all. It doesn't help anybody. It really just craps on I really felt like further. we had moved past all that. You know, for, for so many years, like that stuff was still years. hanging about and hanging about. 13 and, years ago or something. Now. You know, the book came out, Haney's book came out and then Steve Williams wouldn't go away and, you know, all these sort of things. He like, does need to go away, doesn't he? You know, that's, Tiger's moved on to such a different, He's elevated his life to such a different place. You know, he's he's got his life where he's he's you know, a great father. He's obviously got a great relationship with his kids. You, you, you know, you can be blind and you could see that. Yes. You know, and, and it's just great to see. I just don't love why people want to just dig back and regurgitate all that stuff up and be like, oh yeah, he really he really wasn't a nice guy at that point in his life. That's it. Yeah. We've well, well, moved on. A lot of people make a lot of mistakes. Yeah. And uh, you don't have the luxury of getting away with them when you yeah. were that famous. But anyway, enough about that, and let's get, I'll tell you what I will be watching is a little Hawaii golf this weekend. Mm -hmm. I've walked on the beach just outside that golf course. Never been on that golf course though. I was, uh, I was seeing some clips last night and people were kind of re-showing some of the golf that Michelle Wee played. Yeah. Um, kind of back I mean, in just the day. staggering how good she was when she was 14. I honestly, people can say what they want. I know her parents pushed her too hard and the mistakes were made. However, her playing in one or two men's events, yeah. not pursuing it seriously, I think that would it was probably an issue, but like that was really, really cool. And she really was that good. Like she I was think that good. people were pushing her too hard, but it yeah. wasn't like she went out there and shot a hundred. Like she actually could compete. She was 14 years old. It was yeah. it was amazing. It was amazing. Incredible. To watch. Still remember watching it. It was, cra it was crazy incredible. Stuff. And also the value of the inspiration that probably gave God knows how many not just girls, but I'm sure a lot of girls to get into golf, young girls and mm. Well, unfortunately, I think for Michelle, well. because just the way the timing went, I mean, she was just, uh, 
I don't think she was ready for, for that. I mean, obviously, oh, she, she had the stardom, and then, like, you know, you could see Tiger wanted the stardom, right? You could he see was he prepared. was ready for that. He was, he was a star, you know, very, very prepared to be that. Yeah. And he done the whole, like, junior golf, amateur golf, college golf, professional. Michelle went, junior golf, I'm going to play a couple of professional events at 14. Mm. Then I'm going to realize that I'm losing my childhood. I want to go to school. She went to, remember she, she went, went to, to Stanford. Stanford. That was good for her, it seemed. I, I think it was good probably for rounding for her, her whole human, life. For her human uh, being yeah. purposes, I mean, not so much golf. When she came back to the game though, she'd kind of almost like lost a little bit of, of that, you know. Fire. Yeah. I think it's like when you go to school like that, the reason it's good for you is it gives you a broader, golf can compartmentalize you way too much. Any, any sport, any activity, any hobby, if you get too in, entrenched in that world, it's too limited. You don't mm. meet uh, enough people from different walks of life, different opinions. Yeah. So I would say it probably was good, but the damage is probably done. Like her wrist was messed up even before she went to school. And, and I think the mental kind of pressure that she was mm. under as a young person made it tougher. But it seems like she's, she's happy. She accomplished a ton in the game before she, I'm not saying she's left, but she's obviously doing commentating now. She's gotten married. I know she's, did she have a? She had a kid. So she's yep. had her, her child mom. already. So it's like, I think, She's she's probably happy with what she's done, and if she comes back, great. We'll yeah. see. Yeah, but it is what it is. There's a lot of stuff people want to do in life, and golf is probably just one of them. Okay, I'm sending an email to Luke. Luke Wanless. I hope I'm saying that right, and that's a very familiar name. I know Luke is on I'm most of Luke. the chats that we have. So Luke, I'm sending you an email, <clears throat> friend. Please grab your headphones, and um, we'll be with you shortly. Mr. C.C. Morgan, you may have just come on to the, the, uh, the show and been late. He's asking if we have the stability tour shafts for putters. I literally have one right here. It's in his hand. This is the new black um, edition of it. It is absolutely stunning. It will be making its way into my own putter very, very soon. It's a handsome um, devil. It's really good. Really, really impressive. Nice black grip on there. Yeah. Stealth. Love it. Stealth for your enjoyment. Okay, Luke, I emailed you, bud. Uh, yep, yeah, no worries. Luke just says two minutes. All good. Okay, ma'am. Good. Um, yeah, Chris is very attentive and has probably heard you say this. You absolutely would take a bit offset off, Luke. Any any iron, right? Yeah. That, um, that you bend a bit weak. So <coughs> Apex Pros, I don't know what the lofts are. That's a good point. You will probably help that offset profile a little bit. So I really, um, I don't think that the ZX7 is, has an awful lot of offset, mm. but the fact that that head comes in at 28 degrees and the six iron, it comes in a little bit strong. I love that, you know, like you and Good I, point. as if we would play that, we would we would weaken them and they would just get better oh, and better. So true, that, that six iron at 30 degrees yeah. would look like a million bucks. Would look it? majestic, so. Um, Good advice. We'll do that at some point. That's a good, it's kind of, um, it's like when you, you want the draw bias drivers start super low loft so you can turn it up. It's almost like it's good that a lot of these game improvement irons are, uh, or not, I shouldn't say game improvement, powerful irons, a lot mm -hmm. of them, because X7, forgive me, that's not a game improvement at all, but it's meant for the distance. It's good that uh, that exists because mm -hmm. then a person who doesn't want that yeah. distance can use them for a different purpose. Take the uh, loft off of it, it's like T100S's. You still sell to the person who wants the 28 degree six iron, yeah. but there's now a guy that wants a 30 or 31 degree six iron going, ooh, that's how I'm gonna achieve that because I want it to literally have no offset. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, Dave Mack, you'd reached out to Mikey to buy uh, mm -hmm. that shaft. Sure this exactly. one will literally leave with me today and this one has oh. got your name on it. So I will make sure this one is handed over to young Michael and it's... We'll leave a sticky note on for you. Who's guaranteed that? this one is yours. Uh, Dave? Dave, yeah. Enjoy, Dave. Yep. It is a handsome item. It is ideal. I'm um, just waiting another minute for Luke. We'll take a couple more questions. A couple new members. I'm going to welcome all of you. Welcome. There was at least two or three. Apologies that I was mid-sentence <clears throat> when you signed up. Um, Russell is asking, is there a link to the live Q&A today? You're on it, Russell. You're on it. Are you asking for the live as in to join? Oh, it to must join. be the link yeah. to join. Russell, it. if you want to actually get in, in, then it is txg.ca slash live. You can enter your name there. We will do more than one of these, probably do two. Yeah. Uh, one yeah. in this half and, and one in the second half. So yeah, put your name in and, and um, <clears throat> it's not like it's a one in a million chance. It's usually only about 50 to 100 people that put their name in. So you have a decent to high chance. 
Uh, what else can we grab quick while we're waiting? Um, a lot of people asking about the Apex Irons videos. The answer is yes, you, you'll see some, you will see some footage today. Guys, we've, we've got a slightly new, uh, updated way of testing the irons that we've been requesting from the companies. Uh, we had talked about getting in full sets. Mm. I, I kind of think almost that's a bit of a waste. Um, and, and we don't need we don't need them all unless it's going to be an on course video and we specially request it. We don't need yeah. eight eight irons every single time. Definitely. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a four seven and pitch and wedge review with the irons. Um, give you guys a, an idea in the progression, the CG progressions, mm. the offset progressions, all that sort of stuff. Um, so we've got the apex irons in. Uh, in both Maybe of those. we do a little, we do a live version of that today, because I, I don't want to miss the boat on it, because I know people are into it right now. We'll talk about it. Yeah, that might be yeah. fun. Because yeah. there's, oh man, there's all those different models to hit. You've got one spec'd out for you that you can hit. Yep. So stay tuned. We'll let you guys know what we're going to do with that. I would say, yep. worst case, you'll see at least um, a regular review video on that. Big thank you to our pals at, at Callaway who've just been unbelievable. They, they, they crushed um, it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they, they are. They are. They've, they've got it. So good. They have got the uh, formula dialed in now. They are the benchmark. Yeah. If anyone wants to know how we like to test clubs, shoot Callaway a message because mm -hmm. they've been doing great. Um, they will be also, we're just tracking down a couple shipments, mm -hmm. sending us the new woods. We have some of them. So there's excitement there. Mm -hmm. Same with TaylorMade. Those Should are be here, I mean, imminently. I, yeah, they'll be, on, they'll be on a brown truck. Uh, this may change, but I'm pretty sure Tuesday live Callaway release. Mm -hmm. uh, Tuesday, nope. Tuesday tailor live TaylorMade release. Mm -hmm. Thursday, live Callaway, Callaway release. release yeah. And there will still be videos for both of them endlessly. There'll be both. I think what we'll probably do, our plan, is what we talked about on the phone, is you'll still see a live video release when it comes out, like yeah. at the 9 a.m., mm -hmm. but I think we'll also go live like at the same time or right after. Because I seem like people appreciate the Definitely. testing format. Yeah. I mean, I'll say this. We have never had anywhere close to that many people, uh, people yeah. tuning in. But also after the fact, mm -hmm. it's we were alive for like over an hour. Yeah. And it has more views than a lot of videos we've done recently that are like 10 minutes long. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure people enjoyed the format of it. Yeah. So we'll do it again twice next week. Um, it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. I it's literally good. was going to say, like, we do this shoot from Bay 2. Bay three, we're just about to set up an ice bath for Matty so that <laughs> in between sessions we can just dip him just in dip there, in. Mm. recover. Get one of those cryo chambers. That's what we need. That into the wall. So we're going to literally need to just, just kind of okay, Matty. Like Mr. Freeze. <laughs> well, time out. That's I what can't we're feel need. my face. Ah, you're fine. Got uh, it, you got to try that. Uh, I'm that down cryo. to try. I'll do it with you. I'll do it. It's, with you. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> I need somebody it's there cool. to scream with, but this is really quick. I'll just take this. Um, Mike. I haven't done this side by side yet, and it will be soon. I really don't think you're going to have buyer's remorse, personally. Um, we have to hit those uh, this afternoon. Sure. So the left hand G425s are coming. They'll oh, be cool. here today. Thanks, Ping. Um, by the way. Thank you, Ping. Yeah, we'll do it. I don't. Do you think this is? I don't. Listen, I think no need for buyer's remorse. Yeah, None. I really don't think so. And that's not a slight on Ping at no, all. I that's more of that's more of a, an emphasis on how good that Titleist uh, totally is. Agree. It's a phenomenal driver. But there will be times when people will, depending on the build, mm -hmm. depending on the miss patterns, uh, your preferences for, for for kind of what you like to feel and see. Mm. They're not they're not the same at all. They sound very different. It's very obviously, different. cosmetically looking down on it, they're they're quite different. So yeah. Um, to me personally, if you're in a tight list, you're not going to love uh, a ping as much. I just think if, if you look like, yeah. well, Kayla, what you said the other day, like, I really thought I was, in a, I was a ping guy, but yeah. now I've kind of moved away from being a ping guy. I'm not sure if I'm going back to being a ping guy. It would require an adjustment. I think so. A conscious one too. Yeah. You have to make an effort to it. So not everyone's yeah. willing to do that. I, I mean, I am willing to do it because I'm in a unique position, but yeah. I get it. That Titleist driver is very, very good looking. It's yeah. hard to argue with. And not only that, they've made it so much more forgiving than it mm -hmm. used to be. It doesn't look scary anymore. It looks good. And yeah. then when you hit it, I think it performs well. I think it'll either fit your, if it, uh, sorry, who, who asked that question? That um, was Mike. Mike, if, Mike, if, yeah. if, if, if mm -hmm. somehow the G425 ends up being a better fit for you, then maybe you will have buyer's remorse. But if the TSI 3 is a good fit and you hit yeah. it well, I, I doubt it. I think you'll be, you'll be happy with it. For those of us who uh, joined on, on Monday in the live mm. and obviously saw that 
the build really just didn't work out too well for me with uh, with the the ping driver being too heavy. Oh, yeah, I about uh, it's funny the so the ping reached out straight away because they were all watching at headquarters. They were they were all live at, at ping. Oh, were they HQ watching, watching what we were up to? No pressure. And no pressure. <laughs> and um, I'm glad I didn't know that beforehand. No um, Can you imagine? Yeah. But, uh, it's like with Tomo that day. That was I your know, Tomo day. It might be worse because at least that was one person. Yeah. And it wasn't live. Well, I know, I know, it's true. But that was, <laughs> that was tough that day. The guy who literally invented the driver, designed the driver, is going, what do you think as you're trying to hit it? That was one of my favorite things. Yeah. Also, I appreciate that you didn't say that until after we got home. Yeah. Because I knew it at the time, but I appreciate that you never said anything. Yeah. You're just like, whatever, Tomo's going to join us, it'll be fine. I was like, okay, it would be fine. But then, yeah, when you get home and you go, man, I really could have made a complete and utter ass of myself. So they, so they obviously it. decided that they need to be a little proactive and get you a better fit. A lighter head. Perfect. So that li I think that lighter head will be here today. I think it will literally be here today. Because the head weight was most of it. Because the head weight mm -hmm. didn't uh, give us the flexibility on shafts. The other thing is as well, because I play um, the weight in the toe to offset the toe strike and the rotation, pushes the CG more toe side, which actually uh, makes the swing weight heavier as well. That doesn't help. Effectively. Effectively, heavier. because of the value of that weight now being so heavy. Oh, okay. Pushing that weight is, is more of a CG adjuster than it would normally be. Oh, There's see UPS. a brown truck. See a brown it's truck. not the grumpy UPS guy, it's the nice UPS guy. I might be blowing his kisses through the window. I know. Kissy, kissy, kissy. kissy. Hey, sweet ads. <laughs> a couple of packages for you there, guys. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I said after our last session that I kind of want to do the uh, ping version of the Srixon project that Ian's going to do for me. We're going to see how good we can make Srixon's new drivers because they're a bit of an underdog. Yeah. Um, and I think ping is not an underdog, but in Ian's bag, they're a bit of an underdog because he has different needs that pings don't generally suit. So mm. it's going to be a challenge. Um, now, would I say there is much of a chance of Ian playing this ping driver? No. But what I'd like to do is see in the fitting scenario with everything yeah. we have access to. And some of the things we have access to are a little <clears throat> bit special, fair enough, I get mm -hmm. it. But you can ask for a digitally weighted head from Ping. So uh, yeah, digitally lofted and, and obviously they'll send us different head weights. So, so that's a, it's, it's not like we're getting, we are getting special treatment. We're getting special treatment. But well, you yeah, can but ask you guys the, can get you it. Can yeah, you guys that. can get it. It just isn't gonna show up in 24 hours, but you can no. definitely ask for it. So that, that was the other thing. So literally Ping proactively messaged Mikey just after we'd been live and that's said, awesome. we're sending a low lofted light head for you to, Beautiful. to hit. Which is amazing, which is amazing. It's exactly what you need. You need yeah. what, uh, eight? Probably like, probably like low eights, yeah. If and then we can get can, one low eights. We'll open it down to seven in a bit. As long as it's, yeah. If it, I mean, it can, mm. if it can get down to, you know, the seven-ish region, maybe just a tickle under seven. It would also help your ball speed. So uh, this is what I'm thinking. When, when you made the one swing with Sim mid-video, yeah. all of the list of reasons why kind of stuck in my mind. Mm. And I think Ping's going to address most of them. Yeah. They won't be able to address the look and feel and yeah. sound to some degree, but the LST is a way more traditional sounding driver. It's closer to your SIM than the yeah. Max and the SFT are. Because when, sure. when I was editing, the Max definitely has a very distinctive sound. Yeah. Um, I think I said in the video that maybe I preferred it to 410. Mm -hmm. When I was editing it, I kind of looked at, literally looked at myself and went, yeah. are you sure? Because mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that was true. I think certain strikes sound better, yeah. but on the whole, 425 is very hollow sounding. Definitely. Um, I think most people notice that. Garrett Guerrero, that's a great question. Uh, Ian, if you hit your current sim as well um, as these future releases, mm. will you consider keeping it in the bag since you liked it so much? Absolutely. We've, we've said that a couple of times. Uh, Garrett, I, I'm in no rush to change my driver this year. And if I change it, it will be a real positive for me that I'm changing it because I love the, dri the mm. driver I've been playing so much. Well, uh, the compliment to whatever, if you change this year, it'll be a big compliment. Yeah, yeah it'll, be a huge it, it'll be a good, it'll be a real good thing for, for the driver if, if I do, because, mm. um, and, and the other part is as well, th there's always, there's always the difference of when you take it on the course, is yeah. it exactly what you see in here? And yeah, yeah. I always kind of think that e even if I get a pretty neutral flight in here, that might have a little bit more left bias outside. So I maybe like, like something that hangs a little bit on the right hand side in here. So when you go to the golf course, mm -hmm. you're, you're saying if you, let's say you hit 10 drives in here, you miss one or two left. Yeah. Outside, is it more like three or might four? Maybe three or four. Oh, yeah. Okay. Might be three or four. That, that kind yeah, of you're like me in that dispersion pattern might just be a little bit further left. Very and, interesting. 
Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Yeah, and I think it's due, due to my alignment as much as anything else, because as much uh, as I know I'm somebody who turns it over right to left, I still have residual fear of a high block to the right. So I kind of yep. aim a little bit left, yep. hit a nice little draw, which ends up going in the left rough. And then you so look at it. Yeah. yeah, that's why I need something that's a little more, that's good more to know. fade by. So. Good to know. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing if that UPS truck comes out of that parking lot into ours. Because Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, Luke, I haven't seen you come up. I sent you another email. Yeah, um, if, you, you if you're having some trouble, it's okay. Let me know and we can have you on later. Yeah, we're going to do later on as well, mate. But will I wouldn't we do mind. That? Will we run a, another well, one? I might just run another yeah. one. Luke, Let's I'll give you that. two minutes. If you, if you can't make it, I'll run another one. Let's do that. Um, JP, we must be getting uh, to the one-year member badges soon. You absolutely will. I mean, we would have we would have launched the member, the new member program at the PGA show. It was end of January, beginning of February. So many Probably of you. next week, within 10 days, yeah. I would think. Many of you should be looking for it with, I mean, you can go look at your receipt. It will tell you, I joined on this date. But yeah, it's crazy. It's almost a year. It's good to see. Yeah. If any of you members want to, um, those badges have been on there since we started. If you guys want to see a new style of badges, always can let me know. If you want to see some new emojis and stuff, I'm happy to add some new stuff. I haven't done it in, in probably a little bit, so let me know. If you want more TXG style icons or anything, mm -hmm. we, can, we can do a little refresh. But I'll wait at least, let everyone get their, at least let a few people get their one year badge. It'll be a waste to switch it. <clears throat> Rob Coates, um, Johnny Wonder called Sim a track man driver. So probably like a launch monitor driver mm. versus an on-course driver. Interesting. I think what Johnny meant, and, and I've said this many, many times, is TaylorMade are phenomenal at making launch monitor monsters. High launch, low spinners that get numbers that no other driver can touch. That doesn't mean that they're always going to be the best driver, the most playable driver, the most forgiving driver. But mm. when you go, here's my best here versus my best here, generally it would be very, very tough to beat a TaylorMade driver because of the high launch, low spin uh, scenario. Fair. Callaway drivers have been the quickest over the last few years. They've been just edging the ball speed stakes, and we saw mm. that in the bracket. Yes. When you hit a driver, a Callaway driver, the best, nothing could get it there. It was fast as It was the fastest. Oh, yeah. But it just wasn't always the most stable. It wasn't always the. It didn't give you all the other things that you needed. Okay. Um, so when when Johnny called that a trackman driver, he, he, like I we used to call those launch monitor monsters, like SLDR, mm. launch monitor monster, wasn't always the best driver or the most stable. Yeah. But you could get those freakish launch conditions, seventeen seventeen, like that whole kind of, you know, it seventeen is, launch, seventeen hundred. That thing is the high launch, low spin yeah. monster of the year. Oh, there's Luke. This is the high launch, low spin monster of the year. There's absolutely, yeah. but it is way more stable than it used to. Like an SLDR was an almost unusable one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Luke, come on in. There's Luke, how are you, my man? Luke, we're gonna bring you in. Feel free to say hello and then um, fire your question to us, and we will get back to you. Good morning, guys. Um, yeah, just wanted to say thanks for the show as well, and uh, good to see you guys are, are doing well during uh, these times. So. Uh, Thanks, Luke. buddy. Yeah, I appreciate my, that, bud. Now, my, my question is, um, my, my bag's a bit of a mess. Um, I've got four different kind of irons. If I if I look at my my wedges, like I've got T20s from 50 to, I've got 50, 55 and 60 in the T20s. Then I play an MP20 pitching wedge. Um and then I go to MP18 SCs. <clears throat> uh, now I'm, I'm a lefty like Matty, um, but what I'm what I'm finding is that I've got a bit of a, a gapping issue between about a seven iron and a about a five iron. Um, they they tend to blend a little bit, and I'm going for a gapping session um, in the in the next couple of weeks, and just really want to get a good understanding of what distance I should be seeing between the, the the clubs what uh what's your swing speed with the driver and six iron look so i'm about 110 with a with a driver in hand um if i hit now you have to forgive me i, I work in meters but uh, uh i'm looking at about 200 meters with a with a with a three hybrid so about 220 yards um, and I hit a pitching wedge about 120 meters. I think the six, six iron speeds about 89, 90 around that mark. And a gap between the five and the seven iron. Luke, you mentioned, do you know the yardages on those roughly, uh, kind of what the yeah. gap there is? 
Well, give me two seconds, guys. I'll, I'll bring up my Arcos data. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, and that, that's, the, that's the value of Arcos, isn't it? Being able to actually have those numbers. One thing that I think uh, over time will be a great thing for Arcos is being able to identify, because you might be in, in that window of, of seven to five, look, you might be hitting shots at different windows. You might be knocking some shots down, like if it normally be a, an eight, and if you, know, if you play in a bit of wind and you take a six to bring the flight down, and that kind of moves your yardages around a little bit. Um, obviously, you know, that's something that, that's, that's a little tougher to uh, factor into Arcos. I know they do, mm, they try yeah. to do that by eliminating, you know, certain, they take maybe your top seven from 10 or something. Is that how it works? Yeah, yeah, then you yeah get they, the they, they don't, they don't take all of them into consideration. Well, yeah. But yeah. I, I do think there is, uh, like, based on things like Smart Caddy, right? So they can identify the wind conditions that you're playing in. So the likelihood that if there's an 18 mile an hour wind into your face, You've pulled six iron from 140 meters. Yes. There's a reason you've pulled six iron and, and not an eight iron, you know, where you normally would be. And it's to do with the wind conditions that Smart Caddy can identify. Yeah, so yeah. whether that's an evolution of it would, would be really nice to see and, and knowing that, okay, flat elevation, no wind, that's a better representation of, of, of what Luke does. And that's why you have to get a bunch of shots well, in first. Well, yeah. I was going to say, I play in the windiest course in Melbourne and it's a Lynx course, which is wide open. And um, yeah, you can you can one day hit a, a, a four iron and then the next day hit an eight iron. It's it's just just crazy. But um, so the, 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 the gapping look that I've got here is four iron to Nine, six, iron six iron is 176 metres to 165 metres. And then again, in the seven iron to nine iron, I go from 142 to 135. It's just there's the bu there's two bunches of like three irons that are you know you're doing the same job for me it, it seems I think yeah your your gap in session look is going to be perfect uh, for you to to go there and, and obviously establish what's going on and and obviously uh, do the company that you're going to go and see in Melbourne do they have like a loft and lie machine on site yeah, where you can. Yeah, so it's a cool clubs. Um, I've been there before. They recently did a, a three wood for me, so I was very, very happy with that. And uh, yeah, those guys are brilliant. Those guys are brilliant. I mean, if if you're in Australia, I say this to to our friends in Australia all the time. Um, cool clubs and pure form are the two companies that that you would go and see if if you were uh, if you were in uh, in Melbourne that are kind of club fitting specific, and and you would expect to get a similar experience to what you get here so mm. yeah you're definitely going to the right place obviously you've heard us talk about this enough take your golf ball uh, make sure you take your mm. golf ball and you have uh, you have that with you so that you're getting the exact launch numbers that that you would normally get mm. um, do and one thing look don't be whatever the result or whatever the findings are from your lofts and lies don't worry about them being in three or four degree increments as they go. That doesn't, that is, the yeah. only thing that matters is you leave with 12 yard gaps between your irons mm. or, you know, okay. you know, 10 and a half so meters. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, that, type, that type of thing. Yeah. Let, let us know how that goes and, and I'd be yeah, more than happy to, even, even if you want to share your, your data, send it into, uh, Send it in to us or whatever, and, and and we can you know we can take a look at that if let's, they can let's send check it in to on you. Monday. Luke, if you can join us Monday for the live, let's yeah. let's check in again. Or yeah. sorry, when's your when's your fit? Uh, it's about a week it's and a half away, away, two weeks. Okay, so I mean, if you if you join the lives on a regular basis, just ch chime in with us. We we have pretty good memories. We'll remember, and let's check in with Luke in like uh, two Thursdays from now. You can let us know how it Sounds went. Good. That'd be great. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, now, I just wanted to, I've, I've just changed from a G400 Max to a uh, SIM as well. Um, I did have a, um, a Fujikura uh, Atmos Black Tour Spec 6X in the G400. And I'm just wondering roughly what would be something that's similar. I know the head weight differences are, are quite different on the the, ma uh, the Max to the, to the SIM. And I'm just wondering what may be a good pairing with that sort of same feel? Um, so in terms of, yeah, the, even if you put the Atmos in the sim, the differences, there, there would be differences in the feels. The shaft is basically going to present itself based on the forces that are upon it, right? So 
the, the max is heavier, it's bigger. That's going to make the force on the shaft be more severe. You'll feel it effectively more. Mm. The sim being a little bit more compact and lighter means that the shaft could actually feel a little bit stiffer and not quite loading the same way as you did before. So it would be it would be good to do a little bit of testing with that and then maybe something like Ventus Blue mm. adds a little bit of that feel back where you don't quite, you've still got the stability, phenomenal stable shaft, but it offers you a little bit feel, more feel back in there. Um, Mitsubishi TB as well, I know that's one that cool clubs mm. should have by now, uh, they're big Mitsubishi guys, so um, those two would be, would be great shafts to try in the sim head look. Well, I'll give them a try, thank you, thank you very much gents. You're welcome. Thanks for calling in. Right. Yeah, nice, uh, no nice to see. You. I take it it's the evening for you right now. You're you're late uh, at night. Two, two thirty in the morning. So yeah. Yeah. what a man! What a man! When I, when I go back to bed. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Love the dedication, no Luke. No yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. Thanks for the show. Thank you, Luke. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Enjoy that fit. Okay. Good. Great very question. Good. Very, very cool. Yeah, that should set up. I think it should be a relief that that gapping session for for Luke. He'll see. Obviously, you'll see those. Issues come up in the data, and they'll bend them for them right on the, on site, and they'll be good to go. I think Ventus Blue was exactly what I thought you were going to say about that. Yeah. I was even thinking, even for myself, like 2.0 is good in some heads for me, and yeah. Blue is great in sim for me. So great. Like, blue is blue is a little sneaker. Like, I would say I've almost been a little like 2.0 has always shown up so well in your fits. But I've, I've been kind of almost waiting for, mm. not the penny to drop, but I'm waiting for you to tell me, like, I really like this Ventus Blue. I, I, yeah, it's just one of those things. It's like, I guess I just haven't played golf with it yeah. on the course, and that's the, really the only reason I don't have the final mm -hmm. I know. comfort. But you're right. It's usually great results. Well, I've yeah. ordered some shafts for you uh, over the next little while to come um, because I think some shaft testing will be good. Mm. I, I think the 2.0 is great, but I, I, I do think that, I've seen some things recently in certain shafts, some characteristics that we've been able to stabilize your flight a little bit, you know, better. And so yeah, there'll be some good stuff coming. I think even that AV raw orange was good as something that's slightly counterbalanced too. There was, there's yeah. been some good stuff that's yeah. come up. Definitely. Um, I think I saw an interesting one there from uh, some Jack was saying he was, uh, he was at cool clubs and they'd used Range balls and his fit on track, man, and he wasn't wasn't impressed oh, yeah. with uh, with that. And hey, Jack, you shouldn't be impressed with that. I mean, that's not to out cool clubs. That's that's, but that's anywhere we talk about that. Any, like if you rock in and you're yeah. doing a, a, a range a, a fit with a range ball, track man is not it's not the end of the world if you're in a track man by any means. You're no. far far from it. I mean, I know a lot of companies who. It's just their preference to go with TrackMan. The boys at Precision Golf and they've mm. tested Quad and they love Quad, but they also are very comfortable with what TrackMan offers them, and they feel like they've got the right environment to work around the spin limitations. And you know, they they do put the dots and the balls and things like that. Yeah, so that's all fair enough. Yeah, that's all fair enough. I have no problem as long as you're addressing the the things that are going to make the yeah. fit, you know, fundamentally work. But the golf ball. The, the 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 range ball is not is a non-negotiable. I agree. If if you went in, and, and I think Cool Clubs that was probably a one-off mistake on their part. But I would, I would hope worst so. case scenario, yeah. if you've got some in your bag, I just say to them, listen, I don't want to use those range balls. I got a sleeve of mine and, and pop them down there. But I'm yeah. sure that that's likely was a, hopefully was just a kind of a one-off thing. Um, guys, I'm going to put the interview link in one more time. Let's yeah. do one more before we are done. Um, That'd be cool. Again, it's just txg dot txg.ca slash live. And you just throw your name and email in there if you are interested. Sounds good. In joining us. Love, um, <clears throat> love to uh, hear the feedback on, on the live stuff. Like it, it seems you guys like the when we have sort of, you know guests come in and share their sort of experiences with what they're going on. Mm. I think Luke is a perfect example of yeah, someone great. who has a nice set of clubs, but having a few little issues just making it all uh, mm -hmm. all work. So uh, I'm I'm really really glad that you guys do like that stuff. I think it's been great. Yeah. It is um, <clears throat> exactly the way I pictured it going. Definitely. Yeah. Everyone's yep. been uh, been great. We've been lucky. The questions have been been very fitting related for the most part, and and there's been a variety. I don't feel like we've really been repeat, um, repeating ourselves on those interviews, so it's been great. Yeah. Um, best sorry, Matty. Best okay. fitters in New York City. I uh, hmm. saw that one coming in a few times uh, from. Uh, I'll call you Ray. That's the first three uh, letters Ray? of your handle, Ray. Uh, Ray, I would go to TrueSpec 
on sort of like Fifth Avenue and... That's the downtown one? Yes, yeah, like 34th, 5th and 34th 61. Street, something along those lines. It's kind of right in the heart of Manhattan, um, assuming just you're not going off any, Fifth Avenue. Assuming you're not going anytime soon. <laughs> no, I wouldn't expect... Uh, uh, hopefully they'll still be there when you go. Yeah, I know, I know. New York is a bit uh, of Ray's coming over from, uh, from India, all the oh, way wow. from India. So good for you. I, mean, I assume that you've got some business to do while you're there and mm. stuff. Uh, reach out to the, the True Spit guys, they'll take great care of you there. It's awesome. a beautiful location. Isn't the it? old, um, uh, I think it was called, it was called the Emigrant, uh, it was the bank that used to be there. Oh, was it was a bank? It was a bank, yeah, so cool. they literally still have the marble countertop where the tellers, they had over oh, like a hundred that. years. That's really cool. It's a really unique, uh, really unique uh, spot and it's, it's beautiful. They've got lovely putter studio there, three bays. They've got the kind of uh, the full demo matrix. So imagine like the demo matrix as you see it behind me, and but the wall is is there, well, there's no wall actually. They're just the hangers, and you can see through to either side. You can oh, see right cool. through it. I didn't see that yeah, part of it. I remember you had nice. pictures of like the merchandise area and stuff. The merchandise area is gorgeous, yeah, because that's the showcase else. for the G4 stuff. And of course, yeah, G4. Yeah. yeah. So that is the choice. Uh, okay, I've got one ready if we are if we are. Let's ready. rock and roll. Yep. And uh, we have selected. Stephen Robertson. All right, Stephen. Stephen Robertson, I am sending you an email to your Gmail account. Please answer. Grab your headphones and join Love us. It. If for some reason you can't join us, please just let me know ASAP. Okay. Grab a couple while we wait for Stephen. Uh, <clears throat> Stephen. Whooshing off in your direction. Um, yeah, Jack saying, unfortunately, not one off. They are indoor, but the balls are hit into an outdoor race. Okay, so an indoor bay hit into an outdoor range. Yeah, I mean, it's. This is in Australia. It, yeah, this oh, okay. is. Uh, no, sorry, this is. Uh, well, maybe. Uh, it might be one of the. I'm not oh, sure. Oh, maybe a different location. Maybe a different My location. Yep. But yep. it's one of the reasons you, you would never, you'd never see. If I'd done a, a, an outdoor uh, TXG, it would never, I would never do that partnership with a, with a club that was using a range ball. Yeah, that's fair. I would just never do well, it. Just, We've just, just seen so much. Craps your fit up before you even start. So much value in it. And all the, uh, all the testing we've done, I've, I've absolutely seen that the golf ball, the, the one thing that you're trying to make go in a specific direction at a specific trajectory and you're trying to deliver the club a specific way, <laughs> it's the one variable that really can change the whole thing and it has the largest opportunity to to, uh, to make or break performance. Especially like a wedge and an iron fit. Huge. A Huge. driver fit, maybe you'd be, okay. We've, we, we made We've the video. We've seen some stuff, you, yeah. You said that, like a really good quality range ball off the driver is, is yeah. decent. It's not gonna destroy your fit. Yeah. But on the wedges, even the best range balls in the world mm -hmm. are not gonna do what you yeah. need. Crazy. You don't need that. Okay, yeah. Steven said he's just grabbing his headphones, which Love is it. perfect. Love it, um, You guys doing great with these headphones and getting, awesome. getting all the stuff. It's it has good. been awesome. Um, what else? What else is going on? Adam has just hung his TXG towel on the bag. Wonderful. Looks great with the new logo. The, the new towels look fantastic. I yeah, will, I will nice. say that. They really, really do. Thanks, Adam. Yep. Glad you're enjoying it. Really Hopefully like you've got it. golf to play where you are. Um, we sure don't. Bernard. Oh, There's there we Steven. go. Steven's coming in. Hello, Steven. Okay, Stephen, welcome. We're muting our mics. Feel free to chime in and say hello and then um, give us your question. Stephen, how are you? Doing good, doing good. How are you guys? Doing well, thank yeah, you. We're doing well, buddy, thank you. How can we help? Uh, so I have a fitting coming up. Um, I'm a little old on technology. I've been playing Ping ISIs. Um, so what is that, 1998? Um, Absolutely love them, but definitely time to go. Um, they're going to be doing it with GC2s. Um, none of the fitters in my area have GC quads. So I'm definitely wondering kind of where that difference lies of getting fit on that GC2 where we're not going to have the club face data um, compared to on the GC quad where we can, you know, know where it's coming from on the toe strike or the heel side. Heel side or yeah, yeah, all all good things to be uh, to be sort of concerned about. I mean, I will mm. say, do they have the HMT uh, adapter on there, Stephen? Maybe yeah. do you know if ask. they have that? Um, I don't think so. Um, I haven't 
seen the fitting center myself just from their online reviews and then photos and um, everything online. It just looks like standard GC2. Where, uh, where are you based, Stephen? Where, where are you going to get fit? Uh, so I'm in Utah, so it'd be Salt Lake City. Um, I was looking, I've got it booked at a True Fit, True Spec, one of those. Is it, is it True Spec Golf? Um, I believe it is. I don't want to exit out of my app to check, just in case that kills your life, but. True, True Golf Inc. Um, Stephen, Centerville. There you Utah. go. There you yeah, go. True, yeah, True, True Golf. Yeah. True golf, yeah. Okay, so I'm just taking a, a gander at it here. Literally, just going to try to find out for you, Stephen, if it's uh, got the HMT. Is just it's like a little attachment on the GC2, and it is the club. Fit. It's quad before quad, basically. So if they have gotcha. the addition, gotcha. you may actually be be laughing. True Golf Inc. Is that the guy? Oh, it's just True Golf as there. Oh, maybe that's just, the, maybe I've got the simulator company. True Golf Centerville, Utah. Oh, this is definitely it. Yeah. Indoor simulator place. Uh, take a quick look. Um, yeah, the, I mean, the, the no club face data would be, would be definitely an issue, obviously, if, uh, if they're not able to get that for you. If that is the case, it's quite a place, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> it's quite a place. Yeah, let me if go that ahead is the case, and, uh, I can pull it up for you. Yeah, I stole my wife's phone here. Work. Yeah, so if they're, if they're GC2, then worst case scenario, I mean, Dr. Scholl's in it a lot of the time, no? That's yeah. your worst case See, scenario? Honestly, you know, it, it, would, be, it would be very tough mm -hmm. to, to really get the full, the full experience if you're just getting ball flight data. Just get basically launch spin and speed. If you're just getting those things without, without any kind of reference of dynamically what's happening with the delivery, angle of attack, path, face angle, face two path, strike point, uh, dynamic lie angle, all those sorts of things. Um, unless they're using tools like, you know, if, if they had like a, you know, a, a Mizuno 3D shaft optimizer, mm. something like that, that was an add-on to it where they could uh, give you some information on your delivery in the, in the uh, sort of dynamic forces that you're putting on the on the club. If you didn't have that, I would I would be I'd be a little bit concerned for you. I would yeah, and I was gonna say I did actually ask them about that. They do have the Mizuno shaft optimizer, so that part at least helps. But definitely, uh, kind of that club face data was what I was most worried about. Would it be worth just a little call? For Steven, just to ask them, hey, I know you use GC2. Do you have an HMT attachment? Couldn't I can't find it on the website, to be honest. It would be it would be well worth calling just to see if they if they do have the HMT capability uh, in in that about it, Steve. That yeah. that'd be yeah. that'd be good. That is super good to know. Um, uh, any suggestions thanks. for um, quick, um, pretty quick club head speed, pretty similar to Matt. Um, driver carries about 290, 295. Then again, that's out of altitude. Um, obviously, you get quite a bit of knowledge when it's a miss hit on those old ping ISIs. Um, I just don't know what's even in the realm of possibilities. I was looking at the JPX line because obviously that's somewhat similar, but at least will kind of give me some of the forgiveness that we're looking for, but I'll at least get all the feel. Absolutely. What... Um... What's your handicap, Stephen? Uh, so it's about a 10, 10 to 12 right in there. Uh, roughly how many times a week would you, or how many, how many games would you play a year? Um, I would say a year, probably in that 40 range. Um, it's usually once a week as soon as the weather gets good. good. Um, okay. Obviously in Utah, awesome. Utah, pretty similar to Canada where we lose quite a bit of time. Yeah, exactly. So... The irons that spring to mind, definitely Strix on uh, ZX5 and 7, maybe a little combo set, something like a 4-5 uh, in the, the ZX5s and then the ZX7s in the 6 through to wedge, something like that. 921 forged, no doubt about it, would be a really good option. Uh, P770 is still a brilliant iron from, uh, from mm. TaylorMade. Um, you know, even having a look at things like the new Apex line, if, they may not have them in there yet, but 
Um, something to kind of keep in mind is, is something that might be good to combo up as well. Um, but I think within there, you're, you're going to have some good options. My head leads you to the Strix on stuff, though. Uh, I think that would be a really yeah. good, you know, you're someone with some speed. You're obviously, you know, you know decent player. So, but you're going to need some forgiveness. You don't play all the time. You probably don't practice all the time. So you do want a little forgiveness in there as well. They've got some great upgrade options on the uh, on those shafts as well. If, if they're not someone who's a custom, you know, builder. So the custom program, uh, you maybe get into some 6.5 Project X, some Modus 120 X Flex. Those types of shafts are ones to try. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you. Thank you. No worries, awesome. Steve. Thank you, yeah, Good luck with the fit. And uh, yeah, double check on that HMT. And if they don't have it, you know, obviously you've got a few other things. Use the 3D optimizer. Make sure you get, you know, lots of information from that as well. Deal. If it wasn't for the pandemic, uh, my wife approved a Toronto trip. So worst comes to worst, we just push it off to next year. Worst uh, case scenario, I know. Well, uh, good. exactly. There'll be yeah, lots of time in the future. We'd, we'd love to see you up here. Awesome. Deal. Thanks, Sounds Steve. good. Take Sounds care, guys. Take care, guys. Thanks, Thank Steve. you. Cheers, bud. Beautiful. Good. Another good fit. I'm, I'm glad so many people are calling in that are about to go for a fit. Definitely. I mean, the reality is for Steven, ideally, he should pick somewhere else if he can. But I understand that moving movement restrictions are making it an issue. But it'd be tough. I probably wouldn't go. I'd probably just either Dr. Scholl's and just be like, I'm going to spray every driver you have. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, if you don't no. like that, then you should probably <laughs> just cancel my appointment. <laughs> if you don't want me to spray Dr. Scholl's in here, tell me. Yeah. Yeah. But how the hell are you supposed to know? I mean, he watches the channel. He knows. If you... If you tow one a bit and it ends up drawing, and then the data shows that you're, you know what I mean? Like he's not gonna want to, he's not gonna want to get fit by that because it will place doubt in the old melon, on the old noodle. But that's a great, that's a great, very real world question. Yeah. What do I do? Yeah. What do I do when I know I will not get everything that I'm looking for? Um, who was it said there? Kyle was saying that he can drive down to uh, Salt Lake City for club champion if needed, they're close by. Club champion, okay. Club champion are close by. Now, so I guess you're not getting strike data from indoor track man anyway though? No. From my experience, it doesn't no. work indoors. No. Um, it's, so uh, that may be a similar conversation. Yeah. Um, yeah, true. The only thing is he- I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that categorically. I know it can. It can. But it it's, can, yeah. it's finicky, it needed a ton of light. So I don't, I don't know if club champion would have, you would have had to really modify your base. Yeah. You'd have had to put a ton of light in there. Definitely. I think. Yeah, I'm not sure if they've if they've kind of done that. I know that the, I know that they were sort of ad trying to address that for their ba their their sort of stores and stuff. But they've become such a monster. I mean, how mm. do you how do you go and switch out? You know, if they have two to three bays, some some locations are bigger. They have 90 stores, and you've got to change out <laughs> close to so 200 trackmen. No. Um, you know, for for quads. I mean, that's that's. Outrageous. I'm sure that they've decided that, listen, we're going to hang on and see what Trackman. I, I think it's possible Trackman will get that figured out. I've seen it work, the strike face thing. Mm -hmm. When it does work, it's cool. But I think the scenario in which it works is not, it's not like this. Here, when the lights are basically off, Quad yeah. still gets good strike face yeah. data. So um, we'll see. <clears throat> see what they do. Bandit has a good question. How will TXG uh, address the backlog of fits once, uh, once we get open again? <laughs> good question. We're just asking our guys to get an awful lot of sleep right now, so that when we reopen, <laughs> so they can work every day. They, they can literally work sixteen hours a day, seven days a week. They may want to because it's been so damn boring, and no one has any, had anything to do. They may just want to work. Yeah, they may just want to. Yeah, it'll yeah. be it'll be a challenge, but I'm sure you guys are up to the task and do your best. We will do our best. We've got some. We've got have got some plans in the in the works for what that will look like in mm. terms of like that initial flood. Um, <laughs> in in terms of you know we just there'll be a mass demand. There's already there's already I mean thousands of names on on the wait list to come in based on the fact that uh, you, you know had we, so we've had to cancel points. so many. I mean over the last. Yeah. We've, we've probably missed out on five months yeah. uh, of fits up to now, yeah. uh, between the first lockdown and, and this one. That so is unbelievable. Five when you months. Think about five months of business has yeah. evaporated. Yeah, gone. Absolutely insane. Gone, well, gone, gone. Uh, certainly, if you're looking for date estimates, we won't give you that. Write to your member of parliament if you want to uh, affect that. But it's another month at least because yeah. that was just announced yesterday. So we will keep you guys posted. If you are mm. looking to come, we'd love to have you as soon as we can. Joe's saying three and a half more years until my yeah. TXG trip. We're counting down with we'll you, Joe. We'll be good by then, Joe. We'll be good by then. We're counting down. We're looking good. Yep. Definitely. Uh, interesting. Pure Drive Golf. Um, if you use Strike Spray, you can input your strike location into That's Trackman. Cool. 
and then it will somehow uh, figure and it, out. And it'll extrapolate it from uh, from that. That's that's cool. It's a little bit of work, but it's cool. <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't I, want to do it forty-five just, times. <laughs> it just makes me when I, when I I see that it's like cool, good way to work around it. But I feel so good about having a foresight when yes. when I see that that's what's what's needed. And yeah, when that's the current. I mean, you've been you've been familiar over the last twenty years of your experience. There's always workarounds that occur with your current method. You yeah. know what I mean? Like Dr. Scholl's was the workaround. It was, time. it was. Um, but it's just, it, these machines are cool and all, but when you think about working in a fitting situation, you have one hour. Do you really think your client's going to wait while you input strike data for you and correct it? Hell no. They're going to be like, what's wrong with you? Buy yeah. And, and you, you may only, you may only do it to a few. I just, yeah, I, I look at it like, you know, such a competitive advantage right now. You know, of all, the, of all the little it sort of uh, accumulated marginal gains within the business, the, the mats you use, the balls yeah, you use, the launch monitor data you use, the position in which your fitter can see the information he needs, she or she needs to mm. to obviously decipher. Like we, we, chat, we chatted about the other day with, with a swing related thing with you. I, I don't feel like, I feel we could do a better job with position in our desk. I actually don't think the desk is in 100% the best place. And oh, wait, you know, we're, we're gonna shift that over and be more like the Mississauga Bay where it's at an angle so that we can stand directly behind and drive. People are gonna freak out. You know what you just said? This desk is gonna get It's moved. gone, yeah. <laughs> well, you and I, we, we might need we'll a, like, a little Q&A station. I think um, it would be really cool to, well, here's my opinion. If you're, mm. gonna, if you're gonna go to that level, then I would definitely like to come in and we can plan the studio aspect so that one, when you're working and yeah. it's not film day, it's very invisible, mm -hmm. like the stuff is not here. And two, when we are filming, we can sort of set it up quickly. And yeah. so I think people would be a bit upset if this background changes. I'm sure we can maintain the background, don't worry. Well, as, as we work on this podcast studio, which is most likely gonna be, I don't really spend much time in the, the yeah, office yeah. anymore. Yeah, of course. The talk has always been to turn that into uh, into that a the, studio. It could be the live studio. Yeah, so, so you and I, you know, set up with, with where just we'd pop the camera down, we've got our mics and, you True. know, we've got our kind of background and imaging and stuff like that. It's a good be point. A, it'd be a cool it's little a station. perfect spot. Yeah, and then the only time that really a live studio would have to be here would be if we're doing live hitting. Yeah. And that would be just tapping into our, um, our film setup. So yeah. that'll be interesting. Definitely. Um, guys, I'll mention it one more time, um, and, and maybe if we can, maybe one more time. Mm. The TXG newsletter, guys, oh, coming yeah, out. Put that in. We'll do, maybe do the link one more time, just if, if you weren't on the call uh, earlier on. <laughs> Alex is saying, no, we need the shaft wall in the background. We'll keep it, we'll keep it, we'll keep it, we'll keep it, don't worry. We'll We're not going anywhere anytime soon, <laughs> Alex. So, Here, I'll put uh, this link up, give me two seconds. But we'll, we'll, make, it, we'll make a pretty cool, I mean, the studio will be, you guys will like it, um, the, the little plan we've kind of got for that, so it would be, very cool. Okay, link is coming, folks. If you want to join the TXG newsletter, people Ian, love the shuffle. I know. I people don't think it's. I don't think it's going to be gone. Well, here's the reality. It's. It's going to be different, but mm. the, f the the flavor will be the same. Who knows? I mean, the reality is we've changed this camera angle a million times. The mm. camera used to be over. Like, don't worry, guys. It, you will. You will still. Uh, yeah, green screen. You will green have green. the the goodness still. We won't remove the the essence. Okay. Definitely. So if you want to join the TXG newsletter which we will be launching and having the latest of news. Link is there, guys. I just popped it in there. You literally just throw your email in. You're good to go. <laughs> Newsletter, hey. I yeah, know, it's I so know. funny. And don't join it if Thank you don't you, care. Thank you, Andrew. You may, you may read you, that and go, I'm okay. And that's fine. Yeah. No, the newsletter will be great. Um, it will be, as I said earlier on, it will be a really good way for you guys to see some other dimensions of, of TXG and the stuff that we get up to, so I think you will really like it. I think it'll be awesome. It will, it'll be awesome. Um, okay, why don't we wrap her up? Yeah, I think that's good, good timing. Uh, Very good live today, guys. If anyone's curious, attendance was probably up about 35% or so. Really? Yeah. Love it. Well over a thousand, normally we're around seven, 800, so thank you. Thank you for joining us. Yes, I am gonna buy, you know what I'm gonna buy? It's not just the, I have water bottles. I'm, uh, I'm going to get us like a water cooler. Yeah. I, I do feel bad. And we recycle them if anyone's wondering. We, we do recycle them. It's, it's hard to talk for this long and not drink a lot of water. I, so that's the truth. That's we the should truth. get a little water cooler. Well, the, the reality is, guys, as well, um, we used bottles because of, obviously, during COVID, us, us having no, a water cooler and passing and, cups to people yeah, in, in the whole sanitation. I, I, we get the environmental stuff. We're, oh. we're you know, obviously sensitive to that as well. And Oh, like, it wouldn't have worked. You're right. You know, it would uh, not have worked. Like, I, I bring my, you know, my own and it's filled up from 
from a Berkey, you know, water filter at home and stuff like that. Like, you know, we, we are mindful of it. Trust me, it's not going unnoticed. I'll buy one for um, you. I have one at home. It's just, yeah. it's just here, you're right. What are you supposed to be giving people? Oh, Mr. It's, Jones, here's your tough. mug of water during Unless, Corona. Like, during 2021, it might be that, and I know Mike's already looking into it, like there's a TXG uh, water, you know, like a, a little a little cup. And, and that's part of your, your gift when you come. Oh, that's be, a good idea. You know, and you can fill up. And yeah, you can fill up as you go idea. and stuff like that. A lot of fitness places yeah. do that. Yep, so. Would it be one like this kind It'd of stuff? It'd be that type of thing with the nice TXG logo on I it. I think that sounds like awesome. That. So, um, guys, honestly, I appreciate your concern. And we are too. It's not something we've, we're, we're kind of overlooking. It's just during it's COVID, it's, it's just been, we've been very mindful that we don't want to be passing things to people. And, you know, we're trying to keep a safe distance. That was how we were allowed to stay open. That's yeah. all. Fair enough. Absolutely yeah. fair enough. Okay. Um, shall we wrap up? Yeah. Any, I think closing, lots, any other lots closing thoughts that are needed for you there? Lani? Closing thoughts. Um, this was brilliant today. I thought I really thoroughly enjoyed today's live. I thought the, the two guests, Luke and Stephen, were brilliant. <laughs> they I, were. They were great. We continue to get, I shouldn't be surprised anymore, to be honest. The, the people who come on and, and their scenarios and stuff like that, they are priceless for everyone yes. um, in terms of the, the, the kind of problems that they are trying to overcome in very their relatable, games. Very relatable, aren't they? Yeah, I think very so. Relatable. I think there's, there's, there's learnings, there's, there's very good learning moments in there for everyone. Um, and, and, and throughout the live, whether it's someone with, you know, I'm going to get a fit and they're mm. using range balls. Well, now you guys know that that's just Don't not an that. acceptable thing. Yeah. Take your own golf balls. Take, you know, the, the fate of that fit into your own hands. You've got your own golf balls in the bag anyway. Make sure you use them and things like that. So. Absolutely. Very cool. Yep, the guests were good. I actually think it went smoother. It wasn't quite as jittery it's this time. It's getting better, yeah. It's getting better all the time. We're, we're feeling... <laughs> this isn't as warm as it was. <laughs> Light heat. I think the, the technology is evolving here. It doesn't, like, change the Mac. You know, the first for the first few, it I didn't know, really like It's the... like, what are you doing interviewing? <laughs> this is new. This is new, I know. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's good. Yeah. Appreciate you guys um, joining us. So this week will obviously continue to be exciting you're gonna have uh, another week's almost over but mm -hmm. we may or may not come live again later to do some apex testing if not we'll let you know it may just be a video tomorrow instead we got apex testing to do we got more g425 testing to do mm -hmm. next week will obviously be bananas with yep. uh, callaway and tailormade i got an email <clears throat> from cobra um mm. i can't say anything about it but there's going to be stuff well into february also guys that is exciting so buckle up there is a lot of cool stuff coming out Hot, hot, and steamy. I don't even know what those are. I, I don't think. I'll forward it to you. I yeah. don't think. Yeah, that's some cool. cool. Some cool that's stuff coming cool. up. Yeah, some cool stuff coming out from many, many companies. Mizuno's date, I'm sure, is coming up. We have to get organized for that too. Uh, yeah, they've shipped. Um, I think Good. they will. So we'll see that. They shipped on Monday, I believe. So I would oh, expect yeah. the guys will see uh, the new, the new ST Woods. Um, Good. So Monday, guys, just to give you a brief schedule. You will see us Monday, which is the. 17th? Nope. This Monday is the, the 18th? 18th. Yeah. So on Monday the 18th, you will see us for a live Q&A. Tuesday, I know I said this at the start, bear with me, a lot of people didn't tune in right away. Tuesday, you're going to see us for a live launch event. And you will also see us Thursday for a live, la live launch event. So you'll actually see us three times next week on the live. <clears> so exciting, exciting stuff. Plus videos, I, sh I will say that. Plus normal videos, but many, many lives. Q&A plus testing. Oh, Stephen's birthday today. Now, isn't that, that is seriously cool. What are the chances? Stephen's birthday today and on a random selection. Um, there is a God, isn't there? There uh, is a God. Yep. A very wise woman once told me that there's no such thing as coincidences. <laughs> Love it. I love that, and I believe it. it I firmly often, believe it. Can off, it's honestly there's there's yeah. a lot of times when it's hard to not believe it. Stuff like that. It's like, what are the chances for old Stephen? That's that's phenomenal. I love that. Stephen, happy birthday. Enjoy the rest of your day. Dave's birthday is tomorrow. Advance shout out for Dave. Dave, happy early <clears> birthday. <throat> Enjoy your day tomorrow. Definitely. Um, and anyone else whose birthday it happens to be. <laughs> Rog Ortega, our good pal out in uh, in NorCal. I know you messaged me about it was, it was something to do with like a hybrid or something like that. Um, I will I will shoot yeah. you back a little note about that. I know you had some questions. Nice. So and I saw you put it in earlier on. I just just the flow of it. I didn't quite get a chance to uh, to answer it, but I, I didn't I didn't miss it. I will definitely nice. get back to you, pal. Awesome. Good. 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 Beautiful. Who okay. else's birthday, Dave? Dave is Who tomorrow, else? so we we wish Dave. Who in Dave advance. Fogel? Yep, Dave Fogel is oh. tomorrow, turning whatever age that is. Twenty one. He's turning twenty nine. 
And uh, uh, there's a lot of people now saying it's their birthday. No, Just kidding. no, no kidding. No kidding. If it's not my like birthday, to be joking. Don't tell me. It's a serious place. Can we start an hour later? No. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We Ten, start. We yeah. start when we start for many reasons. Ten no. o'clock is is a great way to start our day. We'll see what happens when the traffic returns to normal. But for now, we are not changing. I was thinking about that. Traffic is. It's. Let's 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 put this out there. Pretty much nothing over the last nine to twelve months has been a benefit. The fact that there is no traffic no, no, in nice. the morning is pretty sweet. I don't know if we could come in for 10 in six months, but we'll find out. However, I'll tell you right now, we're not changing the live stream because somebody wants to go to bed an hour or later in California. No offense. Yeah. Well, so, I know. I know. It's, it's not, uh, not, it's not always that. easy. Um, it also needs to fit into our day. I think yeah. we've done a few early days, and they were fine. We did that on, uh, what the hell day is it today? We did that on Monday. We had our... Um, we were in earlier, we did a live earlier, and then we had our day. But we can't, like, you can't just fire a live in at, like, 1 o'clock. I know it sounds stupid, but we get into a flow. There's <clears> a certain routine, and to be honest with you, it is working fairly well, and we don't want to kind of mess with it. We the like mojo. It. There's we a like mojo, it. folks, like it. believe it or not. Um, bandits saying we're about to get a... Uh, it's not bad. Whiskers saying we're just about to get a big storm. Oh, God. Um, okay. Yeah. I hadn't seen uh, hadn't seen that, but I will definitely Big check storm. The, Can you wait radar. until we start driving? Well, I think it's tomorrow. I think yeah, I think it's coming in tomorrow. Looking at the kind of looks probably later oh, yeah. later today it's into disgusting it's mess. tomorrow. Yeah. I will say this: winter has been a non-factor, and believe me, I'm not jinxing because I've been saying this for months. But like anyone who is Canadian and lives in this area can tell you, this is not winter, and no, it's great. Far from <laughs> whatever this is is fine. Four yeah. degrees and my my. I brought my jacket. I didn't even wear it to get out of the car. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeff's saying, "Homeboy, get up at 2:30 a.m. No excuses." Exactly. I'm, I'm with you, Jeff. Yes. I'm with you. Steven said, "You know what? I'm getting yeah. up at 2:30." Yeah. I'm not saying never, but if you want to know the routine, it's going to be based on Eastern Standard Time and what the two of us feel like doing. Yeah, because you don't want us live when we're when we're uh, not in the best mood. Because no one needs that. No one needs that. Uh, 200 subscribers. I just got uh, JT uh, sent me a note there to say we had 200 new subscribers to the newsletter over the last uh, 50 minutes. So let's Welcome see if we can get you. that to. We want to get that to a thousand. So we're going to keep hammering that one home. We want as many of you guys on, we'll also put uh, on the, the newsletter. I'll put on the yeah, website and stuff. Definitely. So you guys can see That'll what uh, what comes out. Yeah, That'll it's be cool. Great. It'll be uh, interested, interesting, I should say, to get more of the staff involved and let them send you guys out pictures and, and write stuff and here's what's happening, oh. here's what's going on. And, and they're, they're super excited about that. Like good. A, we, had a, we had a little call this morning with the, with the team and, uh, and I was saying to them, like, I'm excited to do like a little, uh, and obviously with, with the way things are, but maybe get one of them in uh, to do a little, little kind of small session with us where mm. it's like, okay, Alex, Here's, and they've not seen they've not seen Rad Speed, they've not seen G four two five, not seen the new TaylorMade or new Callaway. Mm. Give us your hot takes, you know, like and, and just get a little compilation like of when, when each of them see them in the playing position. Maybe they make a few swings with them and, and get their thoughts. Like I want you guys to hear what a fitter sees the first time they see product That's a great and, idea. and get some hot takes. I love it. Be cool hot out. take could be a weekly uh, segment yeah. on the newsletter. Yeah, hot, 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 hot steamy hot takes for your pleasure. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, well, more of that and many other things await you in the newsletter world. We I never it. thought I'd be telling someone in, with an honest face that the newsletter is worth signing up for, but you will probably enjoy it. Yep. Indeed, indeed. Okay. Guys, thank you for joining us. As I said, one of our better lives in months. Loved it. Um, so thank you for joining loved us. It, loved we will it. see you again on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and maybe again today. Definitely. Check your phones. Okay. Stay tuned. Thanks, guys.